Radio Shouty. What's happening, what's happening, what's happening? Of course you know it's your foe, B-Hot Radio, shout it. Stepping in the building, I got my A-Town fam and this thing, Trio Villa. What's good yes, with sir. it, fellas? Yes, sir. What's happening? Hey, man, I'm over here feeling good, feeling great. But, I mean, fellas, the teams together, I mean, what the hell's really good with it, gang? Man, it's a celebration, man. Celebration of the Villa, you know, uh, 17 years since the album came out. My God. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? Celtics, okay, see, now y'all gonna make me take y'all on a beehive journey. I didn't feel like doing that <laughs> this early in the goddamn interview, but now you gonna take me 17 years back because I was in a club called Envy mm. 17 wow. years wow. ago. Wow. Okay. Right on Spring Street. On Spring yeah. Street. Yeah. And I remember yeah. being in there partying with my dogs and it was a new group that came in there. And they had a song called Never Ever yes, that sir. they was performing. Yes, and when I heard that song, I said, these niggas got a goddamn hit at this motherfucker. <laughs> this shit about to go. But it was one of the first nights where the shit's just getting broken shit. And I knew when I heard it, I said, I don't know if y'all niggas know what y'all hearing right now, but these boys about to go all the way up through there. Yes, oh, yeah. Oh, Take yeah. me from that time right there, man, when y'all boys came with that Never Ever and you knew it was about to go down. What was that like? Well, you know, we used to perform uh, that record at the uh, at the parties. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, we was throwing uh, uh, neighborhood superstars. Man, shout out to uh, Lil Low, R. P. Wallow, Smurf, so, was happening. Yeah. And uh, man, you know, that's just one of the songs that we just kept performing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And and that was just the one everybody kept saying. You could never, ever, ever, ever. And it was just like, what was it that made y'all say that you could never, ever, ever, ever? Ever, ever get on my level, ho, and call these niggas some hoes at the same time. I mean, it was just really, you know, a chant. Like, yeah, when we was coming up, like you say, recording and you know, uh, performing that that song, mm -hmm. it was like we was in the basement, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, working, mm -hmm. and we would just chant. You can never ever pushing each other around, you know what I'm saying, just getting crunk and hype, you know what I'm saying, and it just came out the head. Get on my level, ho, get on my level, you know. So nah. Did y'all already have that before y'all hooked up with John, or did y'all hook up with John and then come with that? Yeah, we already had that. Yeah. So that's how y'all felt off the porch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, honestly, bro, the, I mean, it just came from us. Like, we never really even had, like, a record, like, before that. We used to perform a lot of records because yeah. I had a studio. In the basement, so I used we used to record a different we used to perform a different record every night. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. You know, so it it was crazy. Like we had the, the the reason why that record even came about is because we literally had a fight our way to the top. Like literally, like because people look at crump music, you see John crump music is more like happy party. We gonna yeah. get drunk tonight. Yeah. We gonna turn up, but. That spun more of a our, our crunk music is like fight music. Yeah, knock if you buck, head buster, get on my like the get on my level came from us literally having to fight our way. Like imagine you doing this this show right yeah. right here with us right now, right? Yeah. And it's 15, 20 niggas waiting to beat your ass when you get done. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Damn. Like real talk, like re, like real talk, bro. Like we had to go like. We'll be performing a song and it'll be like 15, 20 niggas just sitting in there like this. They're waiting, oh, but, yeah, but it was a waiting. respect thing though. It was like a fight club. Like yeah. they gonna let you finish, or we even, or, or we gonna let you finish. <laughs> so right. once you're done, we gotta get it in to see it, who got the best music and who really about the that, that fight life. Who, exactly. who, who gonna fight your way to the top? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Answer me this though, <laughs> fellas. During that time in Atlanta, that club scene was so crazy. Was. What was it like having one of them songs that was going crazy in the club in the middle of the crunk movement in Atlanta? Man, it was just, you know, you know, one of them times where it was just like, it was just like right then and there, that was the kind of music that was going on. Mm -hmm. And, you know, to be a part of history is just, you know, what's happening. You yeah. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we came out uh, oh four, and, um, you know what I'm saying, I think Never Ever was popping around oh mm three. -hmm. So, you know, just to be, you know, in that, <clears throat> in history around that time like we helped put Atlanta we helped build this city mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying so yeah, yeah. we put our ingredients in the mix you, you know what, what I'm saying well now you damn right like I said I was there I seen the motherfucking stars my damn so now like niggas going to fuck down in the club cause of the damn song so yeah for sure Talk to me about just Atlanta, though, man. I mean, during that time, because a lot of people, 
You know what was kind of crazy to me right now as I speak? That Kronk era is starting to kind of be reminiscent of a Freak Nick era. And if I try to explain it to people, they won't believe that it actually happened in the city, man. So, I mean, what was that like for y'all during that time when you realized that y'all was young, having y'all goddamn way, the Kronk era's in full fucking throttle, and y'all at the front of that bit? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I mean, you right. I mean, we were, we were at the front of it. Matter of fact, even if you... If, even if you take it back, right? Mm. It's almost like we we really were like the the kickoff because it was a lot of people pushing that though. Yeah, and like you know, you had Lil John, they were pushing it. Of they course, were, Young Blood. Yeah, you had Troy. You had a lot. You had a lot, of, over, a lot yeah. of other people Crusher, pushing yeah. the dope, yeah. like, pushing it hard. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And and um, but back in and when we were coming up. You know what I'm saying? A lot of the a lot of the groups was just kind of like had big hits, but yeah. it was the club music never really made it outside, you know, nationwide. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, you regional at best, but it was a lot of big artists that had hit records in. I'm talking about Diablo, you yeah. talking about Damn Shane. Yeah. You yeah. talking about oh, I'm talking yeah. about Thug Nation. I'm talking yeah. about Get all, Mafia. I'll get yeah. on Mafia. Get you Mafia. know what I'm saying? Like folks who exactly. had big records, you know, and and I'm gonna tell you what happened. My, my mama had pulled some strain for me to get in Clark, right? Yeah. Clark Atlanta. I had a roommate from Minnesota, Chicago, uh, Texas, and Miami, right? Mm. I'm playing all my shit. They have no idea who these people are. My God. They don't have, they don't, all I wanted when I was coming, we first started, only thing I wanna do was get my, my CD in Orlando Stoke. Yeah. That was it. <laughs> if it my, if my CD was in Peppermint Music yeah. okay. in Atlanta. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Turtle, turtle, that's all I was aspiring to be. That's yeah. all I wanted to be. But when I went there and I'm playing Troy, they have no idea. They loving the music, yeah. they don't know him. Yeah. I'm playing mm -hmm. Oom. Yeah. They loving the music, but they don't know him. So I was like, from that, from right then, I said, you know what? I said, nah, bro. I said, my whole mind frame changed. Yeah. I literally, I dropped out right then. I said, oh, hell no, nah. <laughs> nigga, I hit this shit. I said, nigga, got hit this shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, what's up, dead serious? Like, nigga, got hit. Like, how the hell you don't know young blood? Like, yeah, shake right. them off. How the fuck you don't know that? You exactly. feel me? Exactly. So, 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 I hit my nigga Todd. Todd Uno, you know, one be shooting uh, video. That's my there. dog, that's my Todd. Nigga. I just talked to Todd Saturday. That crazy. Yeah, so yeah. I, hit, I hit Todd. I'm like, listen, Todd. Bro, I'm trying to take this trivia shit big, bro. I need this shit huge. He give me Vince Phillips number. Mm. Vince Phillips at the time, you don't know, was the, the CEO yeah. of uh, 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 BME. Vince now he's doing like everybody, Kevin Gates, exactly. Lucky, uh, NBA young boy. But yeah. it, he took more black people to, to promise <laughs> to land. The promise the land. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to get on, <laughs> you want to get called Vince, Vince Phillips. What so, up, though, Vince? Vince? What's up, Vince? So What's I, good, I hit Vince. Yeah. So I tell oh. Vince, I say, hey, man, look. <laughs> I tell him, dude, I tell him, I tell him, hey, look, bro, we got this CD, bro. I said, I don't know if it's good or bad. I had no idea. You know what I'm saying? I said, but nigga, we rock shows every every weekend. Exactly. So he said, oh yeah. So he called, he called, he called. He said, come to the office. Office right down Hardwood Street on the yeah. west side. White I go, house. yo, the White House. I go down to the office. You know what I'm saying? I got to walk through junkies and everything exactly. to get, get to the door. Yeah. So I go, I'm like, man, what kind of place it is? This ain't no, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I go in there. Boom, I see plaques on. I see Lil John Gold plaques. I see, I'm like, oh shit, okay, cool. Yeah. So I go in there. I'm playing some record, so he here get on my level. Now this is before scrap, before John. I had made the track, yeah. and and it was it was just uh, you know us on it and yeah. a couple of my other partners, right? Like five of us on the song, like yeah. some crime mob <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? So so <laughs> so we played the song. It rough and everything. I ain't never mixed my records back yeah. then. You know what I mean? So it rough. He like what? This it? I said what? Cause we did every song but that one. Yeah, we used to do all. Like I told, him, we did yeah. different song every night. Every night. So so he was like, did the one. He pulled out country. Boom. I call LA. I call LA because LA like a big promoter at the time with yeah. the neighborhood suits down Wallow, RP Wallow. Oh, Wallow. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah man. So, Straight yeah. up. You know, shout out to Smurf and everybody. Yeah. So yeah. I call LA. LA, come on. Come up here. Got the contract. Man, we about to get signed. Boom. Nigga. I want to sign, the, you know, because yeah. that, you know, that big person. You know what I'm saying? But, got that but, move, Cal. What I know? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, oh, Cal, what's in there? <laughs> so, so, goddamn Vince, he, he pulled out the paperwork. Uh -huh. Keep in mind, ain't no money, no nothing now. Mm. Nigga, we signed to goddamn Lil John and BME. 
or a shout out to Keela, nigga. Shout out to Keela. <laughs> Swear to God, <laughs> all my life. We signed the little John to be me for a shout out to Keela. I couldn't go into detail. You want more details? Just yeah. follow me on official trivia. <laughs> but so. I ain't going to tell you too much because it's a yeah. movie. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I don't want to give too much away. You feel what I'm saying? I'm with you. So, yes, so, 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 goddamn. So, we signed for a shout out to Keela. Now, they had this big ass list uh-huh. of people that's on BME. Lil John, this is the list of order of albums that's coming out. Yeah. You got Lil John first. You got Wish Dog. I know y'all remember Wish Dog. Yeah. Every day is a whole Wish Dog about BME too. Black uh, Market. Y'all remember the Dungeon? Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's just yeah. Yeah. They had goddamn uh, Bo Hagen. Yeah. Number three. Ubi. Chino mm-hmm. White. Goddamn Lyrica Johns. I don't know. You remember that Bone Crush yeah. Bird Group he yeah. before he went yeah. solo. Then way at the bottom of that long ass <laughs> list. Tree of it. I say, boy. Hell I call these no. niggas. I say, why y'all say that? <laughs> I say, ain't no goddamn way in hell. Shh. I'm finna that's, wait that's this a, that long. Was a list, to come. It's a real list. It's a real list. <laughs> real list. <laughs> that shit didn't make me feel good. It did. <laughs> well, we would have yeah. came. We just now be coming out. Exactly. <laughs> I think it's people on that list that never did yeah. come out. If I'm not you mistaken. But but so 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 I call them. I say I say, hey dog. We, we can't wait this long. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I just dropped out of college. My mom pissed off. $24,000. Exactly. Down the drain. Yeah. Yeah. Nigga, I'm kicked out. I'm Chicken. living off Keller Road. Yo. You see what I'm saying? And yeah. the, uh, uh, what they Spring Valley. Spring Valley. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, nigga, I'm in the hood. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know where I'm from, but you know, it's, it's neither here nor there. But <laughs> I'm ready to get the hell on. So, <laughs> so goddamn, so look, though. So, so look, John working on here. I say, Vent, look, man, uh, I need to do something, man. Uh, l- l- let me help John with his album. Yeah. So he like, cool. He gave me John number. He like, just leave the hooks and, and, and lyrics on the uh, on the answer machine. So I'm calling John every day. I'm leaving hook. <laughs> Fuck that shit, nigga. Push that nigga. Put that. Throw it off, motherfucker. Shut the club down. You know what I'm saying? I'm feeling that shit. We knocking hands off. I'm giving it. He did what he said. I just stole that. Fuck it. Knock your hands. I'm giving it to John, nigga. Fuck it. Whatever we got to do to bring value to the situation, exactly. that's what I was doing. So I ain't know if he you or not. That thing, you know, you hear the King Crow album, he used everything. <laughs> He used everything right, so I'm crooked here. So now we all getting together. Cool, we had been doing show with Scrappy. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Scrappy, he was actually to me a star before we ever even met him. When mm. I first met Scrappy, he came out head busting, folk doing like this. This nigga had no shirt on. His mama putting a uh, Mama D putting up. A, what's that? Mama Scrap? D was mama having it. Had it. Mama yes, D so. putting a fur coat over him. I'm like, what the but, but, but he was rocking though. Oh, yeah, yeah. he was rocking. So, so we got with him. We had did this big, huge show um, at the club called Legacy. Ti pulled a bit now. Yeah, mm-hmm. Ti didn't show up. I don't know if they fall advertised or what. I think it was lucky. Some back in the day, back in the day, yeah. not, not looking exactly. now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> 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 but, but they were throwing the part, and Ti pulled to be there. And this puts pop number one. Ti, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So nigga, that line was long as a motherfucker. Exactly. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> But so he ain't show up. And then they like, hey man, y'all wanna perform a trip and scrap it up. We just local at this time. Yeah. But we like at the peak of our localness. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm with you. Like when we done did like a hundred thousand free shows everywhere. Yeah. So so nigga, we do the show, shut it down. Nobody now keep in mind this back then, nobody gave a fuck T.I. didn't come to that show that day. <laughs> because we killed that shit. Like we, yeah. we get out there, we yeah, killed exactly. it. Exactly. And I, I hit Scrap. Scrap was like, man, because we knew they were like our lad. Like, we had hit the ceiling of this. Damn. So I hit, I, so Scrap was like, man, I think I'm going to sign the Oomp Camp, you know, uh, probably did a week sometime. I was like, oh, that, what's up, Greg? You like, y'all over there with B and me? I'm like, yeah, yeah. I was like, shit, why don't you come out at Vince? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Come out at Vince, see what he talking about. So he go high left man. Of course, the rest of history. So yeah. now it's Trillville and Lil Scrappy on that little bottom of that long alley. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And of course, you know it was a domino effect from there, all because of my. Now I don't know if if Vince was just making it seem like I was working with him, or if he was guiding me. I don't yeah. know. I just know everything I told him that I wanted yeah. was coming true. Yeah. Meaning I want this shit to be big. I don't want it to be local. Yeah. And I knew John had that same mind frame because his shit was always different yeah so it all kind of worked out at the same time they had yeah. already been pushing that door and we just came nigga had dirty mouth exactly. LA, nigga we all just came and just helped them open i almost like when your mama when you need to help open exactly. the door and they they twist it over for you but then you just take the top off exactly i believe we were the ones who who took, took the, the top, top off because just think about this 
would the crump movement be the same without Trillville, Scrappy, and Crime Mob? Well, no. That that's what I'm saying. I recall that movement, and then to understand that y'all was all on the same label at that time. That was all yeah. called by one idea from me going to college, and them niggas not knowing what the fuck. Cause cause I was I was gonna sign Crime Mob. Yeah. But I had already had a group Trill Town Mafia, yeah. and I'm in the group, so I'm yeah. not gonna deal with five more niggas. <laughs> so I t- so I told Scrappy, I'm like, man, I'm like, bro, you need to sign them niggas. Yeah. yeah. When to sign them niggas. See what I'm saying? Yeah. When the sign, so see, all that was caused from one idea. You see what, what I'm saying? What was it like for y'all getting it out the mud together, but then also achieving that massive success though at the same time? Everything changed like once the song got on the radio. Mm. You know what I mean? I never forget. It's a fun fact. Um, you know, uh, you know, it was a girl from Avondale. Um, she had called me. You know what I'm saying? It was high school around the time. So uh, she used to come to all the parties, and she was like, like you know, I just re- requested y'all song on the radio. So I'm like, okay, mm-hmm. bet. I ain't think nothing of it. You mm-hmm. Coco brother called me, like right after that. Like, hey, you ready to introduce your song? I'm like, hey, yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So from there, I had hit P. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And uh, man, it was crazy. I was just driving like, okay, then. You know what I'm talking yeah. about? Yeah. And from there, um, I think he. Uh, drop never ever and head buster that same week we uh we had a show at the, uh, the Royal Peacock and it was just crazy that was the beginning of how it all when y'all got that deal and y'all started doing y'all thing was it everything that y'all expected it to be or was it a little bit more crazier than you expected it to be it, it, it was what me and Vince had been talking about uh-huh. I wanted to sign the Dev Jam South Ooh. so I'm telling <laughs> Vince nigga Dev Jam South, nigga, yeah. we used to, used to say it on stage. Yeah. Dev Jam South, nigga, for we even know <laughs> Yeah, they used, they used to say that, uh, like, shout out, like, the uh, Wallo, like, rest in peace of Wallo. Yes, uh, uh, the low, Like, mm-hmm. every show, like you say, we used to perform a different uh, song. And every show, they would, like, Trillville uh, just signed the Dev Jam South. <laughs> Trillville <laughs> just signed the Look, hey, I man. just told him. Just signed the I really wanted so to sign the Dev Jam South. Dev Jam South was hot at the time. Of that course. Was, remember, exactly. Luda, Luda had uh, came Scarface. on. Scarface. Scarface yeah. was running. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's why I really wanted to go. And that's actually what me and Vince was working on. But Warner Brothers had the most money. Ooh. Yes. They didn't even have no rap. They didn't have no uh, rap. No they had, nobody was there. They had no rap department on like they said in like twenty five years from when we came in. They we revamped. Like, revamped. Okay, so y'all go from doing shows for nothing to getting a check about this stuff, man. How did that change y'all and how did y'all feel when that occurred? <laughs> Oh, man. It so, occurred. Yeah, just some young niggas. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. A, a lot of things change, dog. Like, like for real, for real. Like when you on the radio, that's one thing. But when you on TV, mm. it's oh, a yeah. different thing. Break you know it down. Saying? Break it down, it's LA. Like on everything. Like I never forget when that never ever video came, and then especially some cut. Mm-hmm. It was just crazy. Like the TV is just a totally different another. Especially back then. Yeah, yeah, yeah straight mm-hmm. up. Especially back then. Like, we the type of um, we the type of folks, like, real talk. Like, we came from, like, you could see us at a gas station, and the next day, it was all on the radio. Mm. It was on TV. You know what I'm saying? And around that time, you ain't really, that was around, like, you people didn't see nothing like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You, you know what I mean? So, it, it was crazy. So. He right. People, people didn't, if you think about it. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Man, I was there from day one, like, when that shit really, like, took off. Mm-hmm. Like, D3, nigga right here, man. Like, pandemonium, bro. Like, before cats was, like, walking through the mall, like, they couldn't walk through the mall. They was already shut down stores. My God. Like, everywhere, bro. Like, it's crazy, bro. Like, these three, I would, like. I would tell nigga we were the crump B2K. <laughs> <laughs> Cause a lot of people don't realize how young we were, man. Damn, we were young. We put in we work, work, bro. Like, yeah, bro. <laughs> these three, man, like, shit, I seen it, bro. Like, firsthand, like, everywhere. Like, My God. Like, these three niggas here, man. We like, put in work, bro. For real, bro. Like, work. Like, like, straight up. You had to go back in the day to buy them CDs. You know yes. what I'm saying? Like, a million people went in the stoves. You uh-huh. know what I'm saying? Like, so it's a lot of stuff that didn't. Like what's that? I seen something that said if you clubbed in ATL from nineteen ninety seven to two thousand eight, yeah, 
Your clubbing days were legendary. Exactly. <laughs> now, that's not what I was talking about. I agree. I agree. I agree. Oh, God, no. I agree. Hard, I would dare. I agree. Yeah. Oh, God. I agree. That's what Hell I was yeah. talking about. It reminds me of a freak Nick time because if you try to explain to folks that crunk era and how the clubs was, P Street, a damn party the whole time. Bro, it's, it's a the, party, come bro. On. Like, like yeah, nigga don't understand, bro. That, people come up to me today, like, that's the funnest time in my life. And you nigga. know why I believe him, bro? I go to the club now. I, I have a good time, but man, it's more like a a, a, a fashion show. It's cool. I'm cool with yeah. fashion. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But it's more of a status thing, yeah. and, 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 and you know, and, I don't know. I think it just it, it ain't no goddamn party. It ain't no party, bro. We used to sweat. Come on, bro. We used to dance. Exactly. Yeah, there you go. Dance. 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 Not on TikTok. Exactly. Not on. Yeah. Not on Instagram. We, we used, used to dance. dance in the club, sweating, bro. Nigga, hold me up. Bro. <laughs> yeah. 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 Hey, hey, hey. they started from the megaplex on Caller Road. Megaplex on Caller Road. Straight up, straight up. Now, what about when some cut hit, man? Talk to me about putting that song together too, from the track to the hook to that thing taking off. Well, actually, you know, uh, at that time, you we uh, we was working on the album when we came up with that uh, that song. Mm -hmm. it, it was a hundred uh, 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 CD, a hundred song CD that uh, Lil John gave us, and we had to pick from those uh, those beats mm -hmm. and some cut. That beat was the first one that I picked. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace, my girl Star. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Help me right there. Th th thank God, thank God, they wrote it. Cause what the, man, I was, I was, I was doing. I had some kind of little Mexican thing going on. It cause no, 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 no. I was like Puerto Rico, si, si, you know I was on some stupid shit. Oh. <laughs> so thank God he didn't write that song. Cause yeah. it wouldn't have been the song at the end of the day. I promise. Yeah, you know we, uh, you know we were chilling and uh, we was we were drinking on some rock apple that night. That's right. So Rob and, was out there? Yes. No, no, Smyrna. I was going to say, I'm yeah. Sorry. My bad. You know, Tennessee. Hit that mic, Dirty Mouse. <laughs> but yeah, uh, it was um, Smyrna album, and we were just grooving, and when we heard that, that, that squeaking, we were just like, what it is? What's up? Can I get in? And so, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but but no, the song, like, no, the song was wrote. The song oh, yeah. was done before the squeak. Remember the song was done. It was just a beat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just a beat. Yeah, it was just a beat. The squeak came yeah. last. Cause the squeak was the damn song. The squeak was the last thing that was it. Our, 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 uh, damn, I don't even know what I want to say then. But nigga, our high as a motherfucker. Nigga, let me tell you something. I was passed out in the car. Them niggas is in there. All them John, all them in there. So I finally get up. And the thing I walk in on. What's the squeak? Like that's what I walked in on because because <laughs> as soon as I walked in, they like John was doing like this. Craig Love was in that thing. And he, and they playing were playing. Yeah, he, he was playing the guitar. <laughs> and, and Craig Love was rocking in the chair like this. And then got there, I just remember Dirty saying, "Hey, what that sound?" No, John was like, "What that sound is?" And then I did Dirty was like. Oh, that shit going with the beat. Then they go like, yeah, go with the beat. Yeah. Then they were like, put it in the, then put it in the beat, put it in the beat. He and they, really recorded it with his recorder. Yeah, from the chair, bro. The from the chair squeaking. From, from the chair squeaking, yeah. bro. He put everybody out the room. We went back in the lobby a little bit. Everybody fucking around. He said we ready. He put that squeaking in that rubber. Cause you know oh, back man. then there was a process. Yeah. yeah. So that what, what you got to put a whole nother sound in something. You, they had to go get the mic, mic yeah. and up. Like it was a whole thing. So exactly. We, we, so we just you know went out, but when it came back, that shit was crazy. Bro. That shit was he crazy. Said, ready. Yeah. That shit was crazy, bro. So now y'all got these singles going crazy. The city is loving y'all. The streets is loving y'all. What was it like when y'all went national and then y'all was out there touring the whole country and the world? Oh man, it was lovely, man. Young, 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 young niggas like us out there just having fun, doing what we love, and you know, just seeing the reaction of the crowd and the fans just going. It, 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 it gets no better, bro. It gets no better. Yeah. Like especially like we we used to go to Germany every year. Oh, man. So to see them folks over there. Just on That's some real crazy. on some crazy mosh pit just Okay, so y'all some A Town fellas finding y'all selves in Germany, man. I mean, what is that experience like? First of all, that long ass flight and then turn, <laughs> touching down over there and realizing that y'all there to crank that bitch up. And they know man, every fucking and they word. Know every word. Dollar Bill Gunji, man. Hey, if y'all hear this, man, hey. Let's get it. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, I'm going to tell you some real stuff, though, Beehive. 
Talk to me. That that shit means a lot when when you put in the work. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, this man right here, me and Dollar put his his truck on the line, bro. Like, like me we, and Dollar. We, he was following. We following John to a bus. We laying on the floor. Every it's folks on the floor literally had to we lay ate, like this. We ate the whole deep. we yeah. ate deep in a truck. In a suburban. In a suburban <laughs> nigga. These niggas on the floor. <laughs> now, now keep in mind, keep in mind now. John them ain't ain't, ain't getting up. We ain't like that yet. Yeah. So they, yeah. we follow John them around, nigga. Yeah. We, yeah. Nigga, we got one room mm. for eight, yeah. nine niggas. Yeah. It's like like imagine that you on the road, you gotta go in the room with eight niggas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, we the cow cow. We, 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 we <laughs> know a lot yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. But but all that feels so much better when yeah. when you didn't you didn't put in the real grind. You didn't been through the mud. You didn't did all these shows. You literally fought your way through a real fight club, yeah. nigga. Like yeah. we fought real groups. All the other groups, they fought us. We fought them, nigga. We the got slammed, nigga. We the got hit. Niggas got knocked out. Like real shit. But I'm going to tell you the difference. We cool with all these niggas to this day. Yep. Our kids can play together. You know what I'm saying? Like, but, 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 but that's the difference between then and now. It was yeah. a respect thing. We could fight. It was about the music, but we still had a, a, a good time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Only reason we didn't fight crime mob because they had two girls in the <laughs> <laughs> but, Being around Lil John, though, man, at that time, what mm. was it like getting the game and seeing him in his element? Now, he, he's a genius. John, bro. Yeah. John is a, John is a, he's yeah. just a different type of person. Like, John probably hated us, bro. <laughs> like, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, I'm gonna tell you, I, I talk to John all the time, so yeah. I can talk to like exactly. this. But, but, but no, nah, he probably, because I'm gonna tell you, John is such a a genius, bro, and he really about four things. His music, mm-hmm. his peace, laughing, joking all day, mm-hmm. and rocking a party. Mm-hmm. That what John all about. Anything outside of that, you're fucking up. Yeah. Nigga, we. Trio V, you talking about Trio V, Scrappy, and Crown Mall. Nigga, we coming from fighting, whooping that nigga, we bringing the heat, boy. John used to be like, God damn, boy. Yeah. John probably used to be like, buddy, I hate these niggas, boy. Because we, we were coming with it all now. We in the studio, we at the fool, we chasing niggas around. What would that nigga say? Fuck that, what, what going? No, 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 no. We bringing the heat, boy. Exactly. We, we, so we were the first, you, you, you let Vince tell it, man. He used to always say, y'all were the first real bad boys across. <laughs> He was like, cause y'all yeah, like crumble my party. Y'all niggas just knucking, bucking, head busting, yeah. fighting, yeah, get on my level, crunking your system, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like we was really, like really living like that. We was just young though. What was it like being on MTV and BET at that time, getting that television uh, shine Ooh, though too? Like you man. say. Spring blinging it and oh, everything. Oh, yeah. that was all. Oh, oh, I mean, man. break it down. So Where is that footage at? I got, yeah. I got, I got everything. I got oh, okay, okay. 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 It's a movie. It's a yeah, movie. Okay. It's a movie. Y'all want me to more yeah, detail, was... man? Follow me at official trivia, <laughs> man. It's, it's a movie. It's yeah. a real movie. Yeah, real movie. That, that, was, yeah. that was a it's movie. A movie. I mean, y'all better give me a taste of that goddamn movie. What the fuck? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, without, yeah, yeah. without yeah. giving too much away, yeah, I definitely. already done gave like a slight, you know, at the beginning with my little soliloquy. Yeah. I gave a a a slight, you know, little soliloquy. You know. Yeah, that was a little sizzle reel for you. So I gave you a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Man, so that was that was just a little bit. I mean, are y'all got a documentary or anything coming out about it or what the hell? Nah, it's it's a uh, it's a movie. Oh, y'all doing a movie? It's a movie. No, I'm saying it's a movie. Break it down. Dude. Everything we talking about is a movie. It's a movie. <laughs> <laughs> Universe one, one, bro. Universe Welcome one, to Trillville, man. Yeah, the movie. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Already. It's it's right. Right. Man, so shout out not, to my boy uh, Black Nicholson. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you know Black so. Nicholson, Omen Agency. Uh, you know he he definitely uh, been helping out with the movement, and he's the one who put it all together for yeah. us. So it's definitely been you know one heck of a ride. Uh, I got with some real talented writers. Um, we all wrote the script, mm-hmm. and um, man, they love the story so much that you know some people picked it up. Man, y'all playing y'all damn selves, or how we doing it? No, 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 it's actors. Okay. So. Y'all niggas look the damn same. Why ain't y'all getting in that motherfucker? You see what I'm saying? Y'all niggas ain't like y'all niggas got old and fuck. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. So, I mean. I don't know. I got the beard now. I don't know. Oh, yeah, we ain't had yeah, We ain't had no baby face. Nigga don't want to change no beard. Yeah, we ain't had no beards or nothing back then. So, there. what was that like going back through y'all memories museum for the movie then? Oh, it was, man. 
First of all, your timeline mm -hmm. is a motherfucker. Yeah. Your timeline be so, that's important because when you say one thing, nigga, here comes somebody, oh, nigga, no, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, nigga, that ain't going to, no, this was 19, this was 2000. So the timeline is key. Yeah. You having to really, you know, go back through them times, man, because mm -hmm. people forget stuff. Nigga, we fucked up half of the time. Nigga. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you fucked up half the time. Yeah, you know Red something. Cool party Red cool night. party. So, no, nah, we, I mean, we were real rock stars, man. Yeah. 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 Like, this was real rock we star shit. Really like, rock star life, yeah, man. straight up, bro. So, you know, uh, it, but it, it was fun, though. It's, it's, it's hard work. I thought it was going to be easy, but Talk it's Talk to hard. me about the hard work part of it, because, see, that's the other thing. You know, young men, they see y'all out there, you know, nugging and bugging and, you know, <laughs> but they don't on see my level. They don't see none they don't of the see, work. After up. I do all that, I still got to go record. <laughs> 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 what was that like when y'all realized that y'all was having the time of y'all life, but it was also a job at the same time? Oh, that's a when, good question. You, when you got to pay attention to how much money you're making. Yeah, mm. there you go. You know what I mean? Because you, you making money, you spending money, you got, you know, that's one thing you got to be careful about, how much money you making. Mm. And, that lady chief is one in the group, so he, he rich. He rich. <laughs> <laughs> he don't never spend nobody. Hey, man, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I don't know. He probably got $3 million, $4, 5000000 somewhere. Hey, let, let's, let's, let's speak it into existence right now. Let's do that right now. Let's do that. Let's do that. Yeah, man. But I must say, I'm a, I, I got to be honest with you. I got to say, I, I would like to come up here and get a sad sob story like everybody else. But honestly, bro, um, <laughs> I, I, I mean, we blessed, bro. Like, yeah. we, we blessed, bro. I've been having, Definitely. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, uh, Lil John and, and BME, I, I can't say they ever took none from me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, You know, uh, even when... Um, you know, even on some credits and stuff, I mean, they still just gave me all percentages. And they, I think everybody got all their percentages. And yeah. mm -hmm. and the, we got real good publishing deal with Warner Chapel. And uh, still to this day, to this mm -hmm. day getting paid off. So anytime you hear that bed squeak, you might as well cha-ching. Yeah. Cha -ching. <laughs> hey, oh, no matter what song it is. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Appreciate everybody who, who's showing love to that song. Yeah, definitely, too, man. Oh, definitely. No, definitely. Because it, it feels yeah. good to see people come back and revamp your records. And, uh, yeah. you know, it's like a mutual respect. Like the, new, so. the new people, the old, it's like young people uh, yeah. do it. You know, older people, older people, older people. You know, it don't yeah. even matter. What goes through y'all mind? Because y'all kind of stressed me out with that 17-year thing, man. I mean, how do y'all yeah. feel? You yeah. know what I'm saying? I'm like, nigga, that was yesterday. Fuck you talking yeah. about. Yeah. Yeah. You talking yeah. 17 yeah. months like, yeah, nigga. That's a grown man you talking about. So... What goes through y'all mind when y'all look back on that time and you see how fast that time goes, man? And then did y'all get a chance to enjoy that experience while it was going on? Or was it y'all were working so goddamn much that you looked up and the shit was over with? I mean, we enjoyed it at the same time while we was working hard for Hit that it. mic, dirty mouth. We was working hard for it at the same time we was having fun, you know what I'm saying, doing it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It was a job, like you said. But at the same time, when we had time to uh, have fun, go out and, and just kick it, we did it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So it was like, it was both best of both worlds. We still, best of both worlds. We still having fun to this day. Exactly. And, and, and that's the reason why I, I really wanted to come talk to you because, you know, Trioville always been such a forward moving group. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we real relaxed. So it, it kind of make it easy for people to forget our contributions. And then mm. that, that alone that, we never even, I never even talked, you the first part, I never even talked about just the scrappy, uh, sign the oomp and yeah. the, the, all that, crime mob, all that. You know, even even just think about franchise. I mean, for instance, like, do you really think Jermaine Dupree would have took a chance on franchise if all that wasn't working? Because mm. he, didn't, he didn't really sign Hood nigga, them some real hood nigga from back here. <laughs> nigga, what up, no parlay? What's happening? Jizzle, 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 Jiz
talent to this Andre 3000. Because, nigga, Andre 3000 said the ball so high for a lot of niggas. I don't yeah. think nobody would have got a deal, nigga. We would have got not no real Try niggas. Try to keep you up know? with that nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. so I think yeah. we just was able, with the help of, you know, L.A. and, and, and Neighborhood Superstar, we was able to take that club, you know, music mm -hmm. and make it to where it could be nationwide. Because, I mean, yeah. John got his first double platinum plaque. And, and his second one w with us as well. And um, uh, Laffy Taff, just think about uh, D4L. Yeah. You know, they shit went fucking number one on the charts because Atlanta was just scorching on that. Time. Not to say the song was fire. The shit was fire as fuck. But it was a lot of fire-ass records in see, Atlanta that, that, that didn't get that beat. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Before, before then. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And see, that was my question that I kind of wanted to ask because y'all was in the mix in the middle of the city that crunk era, see the, you know, the dungeon and, you know, your ghetto mafias and your yin yangs beforehand, they were kind of, you they know. They twisting that knob. You know how we exactly. you, know you can't get exactly. the jelly over? Exactly. Hey, Dad, you open the jelly. They, they do like this, oh, but they, they don't never they take, don't it take it off. They just do it like this, and then you just come like, oh, thank you. Exactly. Yeah, we did. You see it? But, but, that, we, but my the thing top. is that time, though, it was just crazy. Mm -hmm. That's when Atlanta became really the Atlanta that we living in now at the same breath time. too. Yes, because sir. it wasn't as, you know, Holly, I wouldn't say Hollywood because that you. crunk still had an edge it, to oh, it. Yeah, but it was it. such, but okay, fuck it. Crunk Hollywood music, was. crunk made it pop. In yeah, Atlanta. It did, bro. So Atlanta did, became bro. a pop kind of city based go. off of crunk there music, which was some hood music. Straight up. And basically, you see we, what I'm saying? Up. When John did the shit with Usher, that was he made exactly. shit. Exactly. <laughs> Come on. John. Come on. <laughs> shit. We, we, contributed, we contributed to the traffic being so fucked up. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. <laughs> right. Exactly. We poor. Exactly. What was it like we going poor. to them other cities, though, man, representing Atlanta, knowing damn well that this was the hottest place to be at that time, and then y'all bringing the energy where y'all went. It wasn't no y'all gonna go there and do oh, a no, two no, no, step, no, no, nigga. No, no. Y'all going in there, be cranking so it up. So much love, bro. Oh, so yeah. much love, bro. And, and uh, like I said, I attribute a lot of that to Lil John and just the, the Atlanta period, Young Bloods, everybody, mm -hmm. Bone Crusher with uh, Never Scared popping the whole thing mm -hmm. off like that, uh, bro. So much love. We went to New York. I remember up being scared how to do. Go we, mm -hmm. but do the show. Cause we were like, man, we was in, uh, we was, speed. Yeah, speed. Hey, we were like, man, exit too. Yeah. Yeah. We was in we Brooklyn. Was we was in Brooklyn. Bro, we was like, man, so these niggas ain't. Hood, we bro. thinking, we thinking, man, these niggas ain't gonna fuck with us, man. We gonna go out there, man. man we man, went out there jumping around, but all them niggas were like, yeah, we were like, what the? <laughs> almost got drugged off the stage. Off the stage, That's how bro. crazy it was. You feel me? Shout out to everybody, man, up there. What was it like going to New York? with it though and receiving that love and realizing that this culture is spreading outside of Atlanta. Niggas in New York are throwing bowls. Yes, oh, bro. Man, it was love. crazy, bro. It let me know right then and there that that we had we had done something big, bro. Yeah. And, and we always been about a really good show. Mm -hmm. uh, we always been about bringing the energy Putting smiles on people's face. That's what Trill yeah. has always been and about. And at the same time, we party. were, you know, party, we, we loved the party. We about to after, party, bro. After, after the <laughs> we, party. We ain't never been no, <laughs> like, look, you know, we did enough good. fighting when we were younger. Exactly. So when we actually got on, it was all about the party. Yeah. Yeah. That's all we wanted to do. You know, uh, that's why we won't even do real crowd, interviews. You know, nigga be trying to ask her real questions. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah, nigga, oh, we gonna be in the show. <laughs> nigga, we never did a real, I don't think nigga know who we are to probably this day. To this day, this probably the first interview. Nigga like, damn, I ain't know no nigga. That nigga got some sense. God damn. <laughs> Well, oh, don't want shit. I don't know. Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> for real, for real oh, yeah, bro. Man. What was y'all favorite time, yeah. each one of y'all, that y'all can recall as Trillville getting it in? Hmm. Well, y'all just felt like y'all were just having y'all goddamn way. That's a good uh, That's a good question, bro. That's a good question. Yeah, every day was out. <laughs> every day was a holiday. Pop the tag on the holiday. I don't want to leave nothing out. I just, that's a good question. Because even on signing day, it wasn't uh, like the best day of our lives. Like yeah, when we were the Warner Brothers, yes. Oh, it was like some, that like was some good little, it was a good moment, but it was still like some little drama going on. Now, how y'all gonna have drama on Saturday? <laughs> let me tell you, let, hold on, let me tell you real shit, bro. We brought that, hey, let me tell you something. We brought that cross shit for real now. Like, don't, <laughs> let, don't slip. Nigga, we had Warner Brothers at a big ass goddamn event. Nigga, Paris Hilton, goddamn, yep. the CEO of Warner Brothers. Mm, Nigga, I'm sitting by, I'm sitting by Paris Real Hilton. Yep, yeah, I'm sitting by Paris Hilton and the Warner Brothers. I'm trying, goddamn, I'm trying, you know, I'm trying to get my fit. You know what I'm saying? I'm, 
I'm on my business shit all exactly. You know what I'm saying? So I'm saying my parents isn't in the goddamn CEO of Water Brother, right? Yeah. That thing you know, goddamn. All I hear, where the fuck, boom, bop, 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 bop. I'm like, man, what the hell? We in fucking LA. In the goddamn Water Brother, right? That thing you know. Nigga back in that beer fight. I'm like, who? <laughs> who back there fighting, bro? <laughs> <laughs> that thing, though, no, I see Scrappy come out there. I put the whole thing on. Oh, man. I said, oh, man. As soon as he said that, as soon as he said that, he got up and was like. <laughs> But they still dancing in that. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. They're like, they like this, this, this. Look, the white people come to Is this how they do? Is this how it goes? Yes. This is how it goes. This is how it goes. That's so funny, boy. I'm sorry, like, I don't know these niggas. I don't, well, I'm a fall. <laughs> what is this? Yeah. Well, no. That's why, uh, that why they the gods of Crunk, man. Exactly. Yeah, for real, bro. Real, bro. The gods of Crunk, man. I'm telling you, bro. Answer me this, oh, though, oh, fellas. Man. How y'all feeling now looking back on y'all legacy and then moving forward with the movie and stuff like that? What is that like just rehashing everything and saying, hey, man, this really happened to us? We lived our man, best, best years, man. Like it's, it's a blessing, man, you know, to be able to still, you know, wake up every day and still do what you love to do. Uh -huh. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm we're just so thankful, mm -hmm. you know, f to all the fans yes. and, and to everybody that continue to support us. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? Because we're still, we're still doing what we love to do. Mm -hmm. Definitely. And to be able to make, make money off of it and take care of our families. Yes. Man, preach, boy. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> brother, he is a pastor. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He no, 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 my no. brother, my granddad was a pastor. Uh, my uncle was a pastor. I'm just gonna say, I'm just gonna say, man, Mr. Edwards is in the building. <laughs> <laughs> the doors on the church are open. Uh, yeah, that's what it is, man. <laughs> so now, when you think about. Lil John, Trillville, Lil Scrap. Are we getting a reunion tour or anything with this crunk shit? What the fuck? I talk to John about that a lot. Yeah. I do. I do. I be working on him. I be even chills, but I just told you he hated him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but nah, nah, nah. John, uh, John, um, John is, is, is um, I think he definitely going to do it. Knowing John, he's such a genius. Yeah. He probably already got it planned out. He ain't telling us mm -hmm. shit. I know John. I, I believe that. Yeah. I, I know John, bro. Trust me, bro. Yeah. He, he, yeah. He, that, he just not the same. He, he, he like probably an alien or something, bro. Because <laughs> I don't know how he had an energy to do all that, that, that he does. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And do it well. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, I, I had to talk to him uh, about the movie and stuff. And, um, you know, I, I, shit, I had to pull hell. You know, because I'm just like, hey, John, I need to use your likeness, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I need you to sign, some, sign something for me. You know exactly. what I'm saying? But like I said, I know, I know John. He, I'm like, I know your name going to be Crunk Man 32 in this month. Exactly. Man. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Help me out here, John. Exactly. You know? But uh, but nah, but nah. Uh, I, I think John got a plan, man. Trust me. I, mm -hmm. I know he do. Too he many do. people love, to, love that time, and too many people come up to him he and us. They waiting, bro. Answer me this though, man. After y'all got off that roller coaster, what was it like returning back to civilian life? You know, I talked to Cujo Good about this, and he said, B, it was like a soldier coming home from war. Mm. Back after you done been on the damn field all this damn time, you just returning back home. Mm -hmm. What was that like for y'all? Man, I think I uh, found my first real girlfriend. <laughs> 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 like real talk, yeah. You know what I'm saying I had some time to slow down and settle down for a little minute, and I think, yo, yeah, yo, mm -hmm. real talk, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, me too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How was that for you? Like my, my, my fiance and Sean. Oh yeah, he did yeah. so did. That's right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shout so out the love, tweeted. like the love, like oh, yeah, was the was love genuine life. after we. It, it slowed me down, but at the same time, you know what I'm saying? It it, it helped me. It helped me. You know what I'm saying? Keep going and, and, and keep grinding for for my family and mm. you know what I'm saying for what I love, yeah. Which is my music, and my passion, at the same time, God and my family. So mm -hmm. you know, it yeah, just I, made me, you know, just a bit, just, just a slow a down, man, smell yeah. the road. Yeah. Cause you know you be moving a hundred thousand miles per hour with yeah. all the yeah. shit going on. But but as for me, man, when when things kind of you know slow down a little bit, um, you know, you know, I went into producing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I 
I started doing beats for uh, everybody. Like Yola the Great. Like my first beat that I sold to a label was from Yola the Great for seventy five hundred dollars mm. to Atlantic. And that right there sparked my whole like. So then I did something with Young Jock bottle popping. I yeah. produced bottle mm-hmm. popping for Young Jock. Mm-hmm. And uh, shoot, actually, even with with with, with Gucci, when Gucci had, uh, went through his little situation with uh with Jeezy, mm-hmm. and he was like blackballed. <gasps> like, remember when nobody <gasps> did nobody want to touch Gucci? Oh, yeah, now Gucci. one person. <laughs> so I'm in there. I'm working on some uh, for my group that was just like I signed to, uh, Asylum Records, Trio Time Mafia. So I'm working on their album. Yeah, Gucci boxing. Boom. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck is this nigga doing here? He just right walks in, right? Yeah. So, so at this time, now this ain't the Gucci we know now. Now, yeah. now I'm talking about this Gucci nigga. I'm bigger than Gucci at this yeah, time, at this it? very moment, right? <laughs> now, now, don't get it twisted. Oh, ah, that nigga think nah, nigga. <laughs> At this moment, nigga, I was yeah, bigger than so. Gucci. At that, not this moment, but at yeah. that moment, I was bigger than Gucci. I feel you. So I'm just like, damn, what the fuck? He like, shit, what you got going on? So I'm like, well, shit, nigga, shit, we recording. Fuck yeah. it, let's go. Go in there. This man here, bro, is a workaholic, bro. He goes in the booth. Boom. Knock out three, four songs. Boom. I'm like, shit, I like this, nigga. So we just, <laughs> not, we just start everything I was doing. He started knocking out songs. He come back tomorrow. I'm going to come back tomorrow. I'm like, all right, fuck it. Yeah. Come back tomorrow, knock out three more songs. Boom, right? So I'm just like, boy, this nigga is, is crazy. But then, but in the mix, he was like, I'm only going to fuck with two people, B. Fuck two people. And my producer, you, it's Zaytoven. I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, but, and I would have accepted it. But during that time, this nigga fucking goes. St- I had an indie come in there, too. I am just beats for indie. Still 2500 from the independent. It don't uh, do the feature. So uh, they call, where the Gucci? Where the Gucci? I'm like, then the nigga steals my partner Benz. But my partner, my partner came to sing on, you know, my, my partner can't do a hook. Shout yeah. out my boy Ray Mon, man. You need a hook. I'll let Ray Mon, that nigga sing his ass off. Yeah. So he so he steal my partner Benz. So we all in there, we looking for the key. My partner look, he like, man, I gotta pick my girl up, man. I'm like, I'm like, man, what the fuck Gucci ass at, man? So that thing, you know. Gucci come in fake looking for the key. What, what's going on? <laughs> what's going on? Oh, uh, let me see you. He's looking behind pillars and shit. Like nigga, you know damn well. Right. He's trying to right, so I know niggas from I know niggas from the east side, bro. I know east, east side, side niggas, niggas, bro. Right. So I, I just do Gucci like that. I look at niggas square in the face. I said, Hey man, check your pockets, man. <laughs> Then he say, oh, oh. <laughs> I said, boy. I said, boy, I got to get up out of here, boy. <laughs> but, but, but you know what? That was Gucci, oh. but. <laughs> oh, I swear, but I swear to God, bro, I can't make this shit up. Cause. Oh, my God. So, so, but but yeah, the good no. thing, I'm going to tell you the good thing about it, though. The reason I'm glad we did those records because <laughs> <laughs> no one, no one got paid on the motherfuckers, you know, when the stream started. But number two, when he got locked up, that nigga, you know, he reached out to me. He was like, and we put out the Go Ham, mm-hmm. Go Ham on them Gucci, Go mm-hmm. Ham on, and and Scream put it number one on his thing. That one Scream was hot as shit. He yeah. put it number one on his mixtape, mm. and he reached out. And, uh, Gucci reached out to him. He said, "Bro, I really, really appreciate you keeping my name hot out here. Yeah, you know why? You know why I'm locked down and all that shit. So it ended up being a, you know, kind of like a just a shot in the arm. Exactly. Not, not like it, you know, I did, but it, exactly. it was like a little shot in the arm, keep him going a little exactly. bit. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Same with Fabo, like, uh, you know, with Fabo's with um. Uh, D for well, of course. Yeah. You, you know, uh, RP shot low, but you know they had cre- no. when they had went through their little creative differences because you know yeah. Charlotte a trap nigga. He exactly. tried to do a little laugh tap. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So uh, I remember Fabo being a little bit down about it, and um, me and Fabo had a whole bunch of records. So I took Fabo hook. I took well, I took a verse from Fabo, turned it into a hook, put it on a song with put Roscoe Dash at the peak of Roscoe. This girl mm-hmm. the way you do a Roscoe. Yeah. <laughs> I put Roscoe Dash, I put uh, T-Pain yeah. on the record, and, uh, me and Polo got together, and we, uh, it is called On Steps, and we mm-hmm. and it got picked up, They I think uh, they paid like 160000 Disney paid $160,000 for the record for the Step Up 3D soundtrack. My God. And that shit, and that shit would be, we shot the video and everything, and that was just kind of like a, maybe a shot in on for Fable as well, you know what I'm saying? What was it like when y'all saw the money, man? Did that... Blow y'all mind? Did y'all think that okay, damn, they paying us this much money to bust a goddamn flow in this motherfucker and crank uh, that bitch up and make a track, or was it like, nigga, we earned this money, we deserved this money, where the rest of this shit at? 
Yeah, 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 yeah
Hey man, uh, on my end, man, just pushing brands, man. Trillville, Trill Town, Dunn, P. Dirty Mouth, L.A. Man, RP, Big Mill. Man, yeah. RP, yes, Big Mill, man. man. Love, man. TL, our manager just said. Oh, TL, you know what I'm saying? OG, Triple OG, Triple OG, baby. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. My God. Free my boy, job, man. Free our job. Oh, really? Still on the way home. Yeah, on the way home. You know? It's about to be a reunion, baby. Trillville, baby. Shout out to the whole eight. Yeah, man, zone yes, one through six, yes, man. Sir. Yeah, Trill absolutely. Yeah, time, Marlboro. Man, we bring that. This is a celebration, man. You we damn right, right man. Yeah. We got yes, a Tom Jonah Cruise coming up. Oh, that's gonna be crazy. Yeah. Yeah. That's gonna be a goddamn chain right there. Time it is. Time it is. It's gonna start to drop us on the road, man. Cruise, man. Let me tell you something, man. Listen, listen, man. Let me tell you something, man. Shout out to Tom Jonah, man. It's all about LA now. Go ahead, Pete. Go ahead, Pete. Hey man, but listen, listen. So y'all can catch us and y'all book y'all cabins now. You yeah, know what I'm saying? The Tom yeah. Jonah Cruise, man. We will be on the. Uh, I think that's uh, what date is that? November the sixth through the fourteenth. Yeah, or something yeah. like that. Y'all can just go to his page and just get that. We'll be in Miami page. next week. Y'all want to come? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> all the ladies. Y'all oh, yeah. come to Miami. You know we'll be in Miami. We shooting a video for. Well, we not shooting, but this uh, group shooting the video. They sampled the uh, the song. Oh, that's my boy Pat Tease beat it. Uh, they sampled the record, that's and uh, we're yeah. gonna be in the video yeah, in yeah. Miami. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah. shit, we got a show coming up. We got a lot of shows in April, so yeah, we'll April book. But yeah. shit, anything after that? What well, we got? Uh, Chattanooga on Chattanooga the 23rd. 23rd. Shout out to uh, my nigga T.O., uh, Sky Zoo. Yep, yes, Sky Zoo. Sky Zoo. Zoo. So, so for hey, all y'all artists, bro, Come on with if your show is on point and you make people happy Come and you celebrate with. and you make people day, you can last a long time in this game. Fuck all that bougie shit. Yes, Fuck sir. all that shooting the club up and doing all that shit. <laughs> Have fun, bro. Fix like, some hey, man, shit, man. I would never understand, B. Talk to me. I would never understand why Nick. Now, I can see us. We had white teeth yeah. on, fucked up shoes. Like, <laughs> I would never understand why a nigga would go spend a thousand dollars on some jeans. Yeah. Thousand dollars on some shoes. Yeah. Thousand dollars on some shirt. Yeah. Twenty thousand dollars worth of fake jewelry. To go to the club. To argue with another nigga. And to argue with a nigga. All night. To argue with a nigga. Argue with a nigga. <laughs> and then shoot a nigga. Get 25. <laughs> so now one nigga doing life and the other nigga dead. Yeah. I will never understand that shit. <laughs> For the life, life of, of me, me. He, I, he, I mean, I don't know. You if just snap with that. You know bro. what it is, bro? <laughs> Any more details, y'all can follow me on Fisher Trip. Bill. It's a move. But what, it's a move. But what I'm telling you, but, but listen, you know what it is, bro? Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you exactly what it is. Niggas is too busy trying to impress other niggas now, and the bitches is too busy trying to impress other bitches. I don't know shit about a quick weed, bitch. Like, 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 load that ass fat. I'm good to go. You see what I'm saying? I, I, is you getting your body fixed for the other bitches or is you getting it fixed for the niggas? The, they ain't, but I'm gonna tell you why. The RB, the, the RB. Like we grew up on RB, but come on now. Let me tell you something. Boy, when Silk came on, it, 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 I used to be like, boy, I want to get Silk. I used to be like, boy, I can't wait to be around the hole. Oh, yeah, I cannot wait. The now these like niggas goddamn trying to press each other in the in the bitches. Goddamn hating the niggas and trying to impress the bitches. That's what the problem is. This niggas world. need to get back to impressing the bitches. That's right. Because if niggas don't go that way, you ain't going to impress other niggas anyway. Come on. So they man. get mad when a nigga got there. Look, now you killed the nigga. <laughs> nigga, <laughs> if, he ain't, wrong, if, he ain't, yeah. if he don't go that way, he ain't going to be impressed by exactly. your shit. Why don't you go to the bitch? And then see what she think about it. And crank it up. <laughs> My Russell God. Game or something. Exactly. Stop killing the air down about it, man. Nigga, I'm with you with that. I couldn't imagine the son of people I was beefing with back then were dead now, bro. I love these niggas, bro. Yeah. yeah. Like these yeah. same niggas I was beefing with back then. Yeah, we get the fight. We have yeah. a good time. We fight, boom, boom. Do our music, but I couldn't imagine them niggas being dead now, exactly. bro. Some of these niggas, my best friends, bro. Damn, when you put it like Straight that, Straight up, our kids play together, bro. You learn yeah. when you grow up, yeah. man. Like, Straight up, our kids play, nigga. So with that being said, that brings me to another part of the conversation then. Uh, what do you think about all the rappers nowadays that's dying left and right? Because, you know, it's real out here in the field. These boys ain't making it it's no more. It's senseless, because once right, you put bro. that... Once you put that type of energy out there in your records and you always talking about that and you having beef with other uh, uh, other uh, other rappers, then it, it's going to come back to you because you already put it out in the universe. So the yeah. universe is going to bring it right back to you. Oh, yeah. this is what you want? Okay. I'm gonna, it, it, it might not come right then, but, but it'll come, you know what I'm saying, in a time where 
you know. You ain't it, expecting that shit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, right. Exactly. Right. Damn, I'm dead. Like I said, we, we exactly. all had our fair share of fuckery, you know, especially right. young black men. You had yeah. to grow and learn. But I think now, man, these niggas ain't going for the kill, bro. Off the yeah. rip. Yeah. For the, off the rip. Like I say, yeah. niggas staying away for you to perform before they beat your ass back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, we, it, was like a, it was like a little respect. Like, niggas just sit there like. Yeah, yeah, they they though, they got, wait though, but they didn't wait, goddamn. But, but it's a respect. <laughs> let the nigga finish. <laughs> then we gonna be there. <laughs> now, boy, nigga, only let you get to the show. Nigga, you can't even get out the exit. So, answer me this: What advice do y'all got for the next trio coming out of the A, trying to mount the sum, man? Stay true to you. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And you know, by any means necessary. Keep going. Yep. And yes, work, work, keep work, going. You know yeah. Grind. Yeah, just work, grind, you know, put your work in. It's kind of hard to go broke now if you come out, so I can't even say save money because it's stream. <laughs> that shit just flow yeah. like a damn yeah. river. They need exactly. to get 40 million on one rucker. Nigga, rich as hell. Oh, yeah, yeah, rich as fuck. One song. Yeah, yeah. 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 you can hit the lottery on one song. Like, oh, no. But, oh, man. But, yeah, but now, nah, man, just like, like you spend your whole life trying to get here, you know, it ain't no reason to die. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when you get it, why yeah. you gonna die when you make a million dollars? That's it. <laughs> you gotta keep it a book, man. And I come up when when I think of Beehive, I think of keep it real. Yeah, yeah. Come on, I don't need to talk to him. Yeah. You know, I can't exactly. just talk to you, really. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't calling him for no other reason. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't promoting it for real, like that. <laughs> You do need any more shit. details. You exactly. can't follow the finish trip. Yeah. It's a move. <laughs> <laughs> And <laughs> hey, that's just what it is, man. Beehive Radio, shout yes, it, Trillville. We'll holler at y'all yes, in a minute, sir. man. We go. Yes,